Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Okay, let me ask you this. On this planet, we're the same like every other animal on this planet, right? Of course. And every uh, animal on this planet only has two things to do. Only two. I'm talking to you like if, if we're looking at it like science. The two things they have to do is what? Eat and fuck. Okay, you could use the words you want, but it means the same thing, right? So that's all we're supposed to do, really, on this planet. Eat and fuck. Now, we're obviously doing a good job because every year there's more people, right? So we're doing it. Whether you want to laugh or not, look at your father. Your father made four kids. Look at your mother. Your mother made two kids. You're, it, more than two children is zero population growth. Four kids. Six kids is big population growth. They're doing, they're doing what they're supposed to do. Now, it's even hard for us to think of our parents fucking because we get all like little kids. Oh, that's my mommy and daddy. Oh, I don't want to look at that. Huh? But they got to fuck because you wouldn't be there if they didn't fuck. So to look at a woman and be shy is stupid because when you look at a woman, you only want two things from her. Can she cook? Or can you fuck? Or both? Yeah. yeah, that's right. It's a bonus. And if, if you look at the animal community, you see the lions have a harem. And they take care of the, uh, of the male. They hunt for him. The, the male, oh, and they don't eat till he eats. Now, that's the kind of relationship each one of us really want, where the female takes care of us, we fuck and eat when we want. Aha, uh -huh, so that is like the base of what you teach. Aha, uh -huh, so? Okay, so what am, I, what am I teaching you now? I'm making you realize, because yeah, when your father says it to you, that's your father. When I say it to you, you say, fuck, it's got to be right. You see, that's the difference. That's what I teach and that's what I do. And when I find out a young person, after I talk to you more, I could find out exactly where your problem is. And then I could, and then I could work with you and we could solve the, what you think is the problem. I don't think... I, I, Tell this to every student, every person. Nobody is better than me, and I'm not better than anybody. Everybody could do the same thing that I do. Everybody could have what I have with women. All they have to do is know what they want. And the two rules that I give you to live by, and if you learn them, the quicker you learn them, the happier you'll live, is... Rule number one is, who cares about what they think or say? Rule number two is, you are the most important person in the relationship. No, that's rule number one and rule number two. That's what you have to learn. Who cares what they think or say? And you are the most important person in the relationship, not them. You. That's what I teach. Okay, David, but now my question here is how did you develop all this uh, form of processing information? Did you born thinking like this or how did you learn or create all this way of thinking? No, I was, I was very shy. I was very shy. I started with a, a, a woman, a woman uh, seduced me when I was young. 
But after that, it was the worst thing for me in the world. I didn't know how to get the second one because it came to me too easy. And I had to work out plans and ideas. All I thought about was getting fucked, getting laid. And, the, and then after I learned how to get laid, I used to f have a fear. What happens if I can't fuck tomorrow when I want? So I had to have a harem of three, four girls. That's what drove me. Because I wanted to fuck more than most people. That's all. Except, except, you see, the difference is I must have some Latin blood in me because all the Latin and Spanish friends I had and Mexican friends, they were all the most fucking horny guys I knew. <laughs> they were just like me. Hey, but <laughs> then, David, tell me, uh, most people, most these renowned pickup artists, talk about routines, about doing stuff, and you talk more about being the kind of man that doesn't give a fuck. That is what really interests me about you. How did you develop this model? About Listen to me. I'm going to I'm gonna tell you something about the industry, which everybody calls the industry. I'm not liked in the industry because I used to go to all these guys' seminars, and most of the biggest guys were my students. So I'm going to tell you something else. I never heard from one guy anything that I could learn. You understand? None of them know as much as me. And, and what they try to teach is how to take your money. I'm not going after the money because if you notice, I, I sell an hour of my time. Usually the guy gets almost two hours because I don't know how to shut my mouth. That's my problem. Okay, so, and I don't do it for the money, but I got to tell you something. All these, these guys are all full of shit. Okay, I, I went out with guys. I seen the guys around the world. Okay, they all were impressed with me. They all wanted me to endorse them, and I can't endorse one of them. Okay, and, I, and they got mad at me because just because I did a seminar for them, They got mad at me and wanted me to say they're as good as me or, you know, I would recommend them. And I don't because I, I want to tell young fellows or any guy that's having problem getting over it. That's what I want to do. I want to help them. That's the most important thing. When I get guys calling me back, David X, thank you. Might you change my whole life? Thank you. Thank you. Because... When I do a coaching, I ask them 10 questions. The 10th question says, what do you want to accomplish by working with David X? And after that, I call them graduates. Whenever they tell me what they want to accomplish, we, we go. It's all up to them. We go till completion. And I got more graduates than you can ever imagine. Because if you want it bad enough, you go after it. I take it seriously because I talk about fucking and sucking and pussies because I love that stuff. Okay? I could talk to you about scuba diving too because I used to be a, a big time diver. But I was like diving in pussy better than anything else. And, and for me, <laughs> I want it as easily available as going to the store to buy a, a candy bar. Or a cigar, you know? I want to be able, if I wore a beer, if I want to go and get a beer now at the store, it's there. I just pay the money and take it. I had five girlfriends. If one told me she didn't feel good, she's on her period, she's out with her friend tonight, I always had, I would get fucked no matter what. That's the way I designed my life. Okay, but now, David, I repeat my question again. How did you develop this mindset? I had to, because I had to decide what I want. I went through phases where I was like trying to be the nice guy. 
you know, trying to be uh, Sir Lancelot. But girls like people like James Bond, they like people like Casanova. You know, these are the men that women like, and these are the, the women know these men fuck all the women. They want a man with experience. They want a man who fucks a lot of women. Most guys don't want to say they fuck a lot of women to a woman because they figure I'm going to lose them. Because whatever you're thinking is always wrong. Whatever you're thinking, that's why. Don't think. Go with what you want. What you want. Okay, buddy, what else do you want me to answer you? Okay, David, but now how did you teach people to develop this form of honest communication of being who they want and asking for they what for what they want to be totally honest? Yeah, you said. Because, yeah, yeah. You know what? I look at people. I got to tell you something. I look at people, and ninety nine percent of the people I would look at were afraid, afraid to tell you the truth. I talk to young guys today, they tell me their friends tell them this, tell them that, and I tell them, no, I'll tell you the truth, they're all lying to you. And friends like to lie to you, everybody wants to lie. And when you tell the truth, you have the best weapon in your pants you could ever have, because nobody can handle the truth. When a woman would say to me, Are you seeing other women? I tell them, I would tell them like this. Every minute of my life I see other women. I look at all of them. And when I'm with you, I'm with you. I don't think of other women when I'm with you. So don't make me think of anybody else but you. This is the way I would answer them. Because I don't want them to catch me and, oh, you have another girlfriend. I don't give a fuck what they know. I would only tell them what I want them to know. Not what I don't want them to know. You know how many guys tell me, oh, I spoke to this girl, but she said I saw I had this other friend and she's all mad now. <laughs> yeah, a woman wants a man who knows what he wants. When I figured that out, everything came easy. So, it starts... When you get a good base, when you get a good foundation, that's what I'll give anybody, a good foundation to start. It has to build. And it's easier than abracadabra. Okay, but now, David, answer me this. Did you have, like, a teacher, a mentor that teach you how to think? No, I did actually. I have to be honest. I had a mentor. I had a, a friend. He was much older. I used to go over to his apartment, and he always had this beautiful girl there. Always. And one day, I go to his apartment. We used to hang out, and this girl comes out of the be the bedroom wearing a towel, only a towel. And I look at her, and she's gorgeous. And I tell my friend, hey, she's beautiful. He says, you want to see what she really looks like? He goes over and pulls the towel off her. I asked this guy, what does he do? He goes, I don't do anything. I do what I want. And they fall after me. He used to tell me the same thing. You know what happened? I got to tell you. I got to tell you a funny story. He got, he met this girl when I, when I, when I was, when he was much older. Okay. And the girl was around my age, maybe a little bit younger. No, yeah, she was 10 years younger than me. And right away, she liked me. Okay? And we became friends. So it was when my girlfriend became friends with her. And then one time when the computer started coming out, I went to take a computer course. And she says, you know, I should take one too. So I said, come with me. We'll take it together at this place, you know? And I ended up taking off with her and fucking her. 
okay, and all the years after that, I was really close friends with her, and he was my mentor. I never told him that I fucked his girlfriend that he was living with, you know? And you know what? She died. She died. And she told her two daughters, okay, before she died, that David was the love of her life. You know, I like that. I'll tell you why. It doesn't matter what people think they think about me. I know what these women thought about me. I had a secretary work for me for 27 years. And then one day I get a call and it's from her daughter, her youngest daughter. She's in the hospital and she has only maybe a few days left and she wanted to come, me to come and see her. She was dying of lung cancer. So I get to the hospital um, and I said, what happened? Well, why did you call me now? You could have called me anytime. She goes, oh, she says, I, she says, I have to tell you, it bothered me when you told me you had two kids because I have two kids now. And she knows I'm still living with the same woman. She says, it bothered me because I always loved you like this. She was my secretary. Yeah, I fucked her too because I fucked everybody. Okay, I couldn't I couldn't help it. I fucked I had five women working in the company that I, I that I worked in and only one I didn't fuck cuz she looked like somebody's grandfather. <laughs> okay? And I fucked all the women that worked for me because that's what I do. I like to fuck. And they all told me how good I am. Now, I'm good not because I'm something special. I'm good from experience. When you go with a lot of women, a lot of women have different things that they need. They tell you, you become really good and you become able to notice it before they ask you for something. You know exactly where to touch them by the way to have their breasts or the way their pussy's positioned. You know, there's things you learn when you become an expert. And that's why I got better and better every year I went on. And that made me get better. Okay, nice. So for what you're telling me, what have make you the, the, the person that you're right now is all the experience that you have accumulated okay, well. all these years. But, but now, um, how... What would you call or say that is your role? What would you say that is your position in society, in the pickup world or in the man, man world? Would, would, say, would you say that you're a macho? Would you say that you are a gentleman? How would you call yourself? What you are? Let me explain to you something. I'll tell you that very, very clearly. With, when it comes to women and men, there's only three positions a man can be in with a woman. There's only three positions. Lead, follow, or get out of the way. Okay? Everybody falls into one of those positions. So then what you teach people is how to develop their inner guide, how to stop following and start guiding men of course. and women. And from experience you got everything that you teach. That's what Let you me ask always. you something. Let me ask you something, okay? Everything I said to you you've heard before, right? From somebody. Yeah, most of it. I, I put it, I put it, it, you see, it's my point of view. And my point of view, if it's not the same as your point of view, but you like my point of view, then you have to think about maybe I'm, maybe your point of view is not as good as my point of view. So all you have to do is not change who you are. Change your point of view. As simple as that. 
I teach you how to change your point of view. I give you homework also. And I can imagine that it's really <laughs> tough homework. <laughs> and good one. Hey David, I want to thank you for being with me today and giving us this space to learn from you. It has been really good, really an amazing experience to talk with you. And okay, thank you very you much. And hope that you have an amazing week. So, man, thanks again and rock on. See you at the next level. Okay, buddy. Take care. Ciao.